Hey, what's up? Today we're going to talk about 10 tricks to help you survive the OMSCS program. So let's get started. All right, so tip number one is the OMSCS Slack channel. So basically it's an unofficial channel made by some students and you can ask your questions there. It's really nice for just informal stuff. Plus you can ask like questions about classes or just kind of meet and greet your fellow uh, classmates. So that's really fun. Also, fun tip on Thursdays, you share what kind of lunch you had, and I guess that's one fun tradition. All right, so tip number two is OMS Hub. So OMS Hub is a review site made by students. So you can actually post your reviews about classes and look at other people's reviews. It also is based on which semester you took the class, so you get more recent semesters taking their more recent uh, reviews on there, and it's nice. Like it's a good source for information. Okay, tip number three, OMS Central. So this is another review site. It's a bit older. Uh, it still has a ton of reviews and it's about the same as like the OMS Hub one. But uh, yeah, you can log into these using your Georgia Tech email. It'll just send you a link to your mail account and then you verify your account and you can log in and make reviews. And it looks like it's pretty anonymous. So that's nice too. All right, so then tip number four is a Reddit page about the OMSCS program. So I've never really explored this that well, but you can see there's some stuff going on here. So that's good. I mean, you can post your questions, talk about stuff. Uh, it's just nice to be able to talk about uh, the OMSCS program with your fellow classmates and get different perspectives. Okay, tip number five, Coolster Codes. Oh, how did that get there? That's odd. No, I'm just kidding. This is my shameless plug. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, we're going to keep going, but... In case you didn't know, I made a review video for each class I took, plus a couple other meta review videos of the whole program. So check those out in case you're interested. All right, tip number six. With your Georgia Tech account, you get Lucidchart, which is a super useful tool to diagram stuff. And you can do it for your papers, for your uh, group projects and things or just whatever you want basically, but it's free because you're a student and that's really nice actually. I use this a ton while in the program. All right, uh, tip number seven is you get access to the Georgia Tech library on Libby, which is so nice. So you basically get their whole selection of things that they have, basically any kind of academic books they have or just anything you wanna read that they have. You get a free library card just with your student account. So that's really nice. Tip number eight is you get a private GitHub account with Georgia Tech's GitHub Enterprise package. Uh, basically, when you're doing group projects or even just individual projects, you can make private repositories. Uh, you can like share code in group projects, and it's really nice to be able to do all that for free. You don't need to pay for it like you would like GitHub Pro. So um, just a tip here, though, is at the end of the program, you will lose access to these repos. So just make sure you either copy those somewhere else that you can have handy or if you don't care about it whatever okay tip number nine is this waitlist history so sometimes you may not get into the class right away if you're on the waitlist you can go back in time and see what classes got accepted or how many students got into the class based on their waitlist size in the previous semesters so that's really nice because sometimes you need to plan accordingly to meet all your degree requirements and you could just go back in time and see, hey, for this class that I want to get into, for what my spot on the list, like, what's the likelihood that I would get into the class? Okay, and the last one, number 10, uh, just like tell your friends and family that you're doing this program. Don't get discouraged, like don't feel alone. I know it can be hard at some times, but make sure you have support. Like don't uh, push yourself too hard. I mean, the nice thing about the Georgia Tech program is you can take two semesters off uh, back to back even if you need it so like and just rejoin the program without having to reapply so yeah definitely don't burn yourself out there thanks for watching the video hope you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next one